Okay, new experiment. I've created a uh, funny looking generator here. Let me explain to you how it works. There are six air coils in here. The same coils I was using with that single bearing generator. And I've wired up a rectifier array. One rectifier for each coil. So these are my AC in, my single DC out. And then goes directly into this board here. I got a couple of caps and a LED. I need to explain to you how this works. There are six rare earth magnets here of this kind, the donut shaped. And they're sitting on a dowel. It's the wooden dowel. And what I do is I take one of these bearings and place it on. And it stays on stays on the washers. Carefully put the second one on. And that is basically how it's set up. Now the interesting thing about this is moving this one bearing at the top pushes the second bearing at the bottom. And also at the same time the bearing at the bottom is working against gravity. So we get this this swinging effect. Now the cool thing about this is the bearing at the top doesn't really have to move that much in order to move the second bearing at the bottom. I'm putting very little work into moving this bearing. I'm going to turn it on an angle a little bit so you can see how much I'm actually moving the bearing. Once it's synchronized, you can sort of just move it a little bit get a full range of motion with the bearing on the bottom. It go quite quick actually. And it passes over the uh, six air coils. Solenoids. I meant this to work with uh, eight, but I only had six coils. A third setup of this is using a smaller bearing, shown here. You can get both of these to spin. It gets a little more difficult to do with three and uh, sometimes the bearings get a little too close and then they end up sticking. So, so far I've found this one to be the best best way to do it. Okay, now let me just show you. I'm not getting a lot of power out of this yet. This is just my first configuration of this. Let me just try to show it to you here. Each of these uh, coils are sitting on a dowel. Gravity really helps in this. wired out again to this rectifier array here. Just 
four diodes per coil and into this. Right now I have it hooked up to the digital meter. Right now it's reading 7.8 volts. That's what's stored currently in the capacitors. I'm just going to drain them here. Down to 1.7. Then I'm going to charge them back up again by moving my coils. You can see it takes a little while to go out 6, 6, 6, 6, 7, 6, 9, 7 volts, 7.5. 8 volts. I can usually get it to about 9, but I, don't, I can't seem to make it up to 10. I'm sure I'd get a lot more power out of this if I had uh, an iron core per uh, coil. However, the problem with that is the magnets will, will stick to the coils. Something else to show you here. This would be a pole. This would be a pole. So when the bearing sits on here, the north or whatever it is, north and south of the poles, are always here. So they always pass over the coils with the poles facing. At the same time, it rotates. So it's an interesting and a unique configuration here for a, a motor. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I'm just going to try to power up that LED, this LED here. Again, power it up. I'm dropping. There you have the bearing generator.